Most people who are alive today don't really understand how different the roles of the two genders were in society back in the 1950s. The idea of a woman being a CEO was really quite extraordinary and unusual. That'll be all for now, Alice. Yes, Mr. Stone. The previous model of nothing but middle-aged white males dominating the defense industry has disappeared. The thing that is strikingly different today, the number of extraordinary leaders that just happen to be women that are leading some of the biggest defense firms in the United States uh, and in the world. I have the fortune of leading an amazing team in our defense, space, and security business where we have more than 35,000 employees focused every day on delivering uh, military products and readiness uh, to our customers globally. The job is extremely large. You know, Boeing Defense ranges from seabed to space. So on any given day, I'm talking about our 55-foot autonomous underwater submarine, or we're having a conversation about fighters going off the carrier deck, or if it's our Starliner, which will be docking with the International Space Station with American astronauts on board. That's a range of complexities that you have to deal with every day. the 1950s and the 1960s, to put it bluntly, men didn't take these women very seriously, even when their performance academically was exceptional. I was the first woman um, in my family uh, to go to college, so I was just kind of feeling my way. I did some research and I found out how much uh, a school teacher made, and, and that wasn't going to be enough. Uh, so I said, gosh, where, where can you come out of college and make good money? And it was engineering. Not a lot of women, uh, obviously, getting their bachelors of science um, back in the 80s. But you know, I, I, I know that now, but it didn't, it didn't strike me at the time. I mean, it was just a lot of nerds in the auditorium getting our degrees. When the women who dominate the U.S. defense sector today first entered the business, there just weren't very many females in engineering. It was uncommon to encounter a woman in many of the classes at the big schools. What that meant is that they were pioneers. And the qualities that a pioneer brings to a new profession often make them exceptional later in their career. So exceptional that they're the obvious candidate to run the whole company. The weapons have never been this powerful. Our share prices have never been this high. When I knew I was going to be the CEO, um, and then that first day, what my intent on day one was, I'm a student and I need to learn fast. And so it was all about how many people can I touch, how much information can I personally absorb so I can quickly make a contribution to the organization. The first day on my job was exciting, terrifying, humbling. Um, I had the fortune of being asked to take this role on and to really uh, understand that it isn't about the about me uh, this I am I am holding this uh, role to help prepare us for the future it's probably one of the most exciting times to be in this industry that, that there has ever been T minus 60 seconds and counting. People for a while were debating, um, is space a part of warfare? War on the ground is driven by space. If we're going to target something, we need to know where that is. So if adversaries disable our space assets, that's the consequence. We're disabled on the ground as well. When you think about where we're going to be in just 50 short years, uh, think about, and I like to say this for uh, folks, the Jetsons. Our concrete highways are going to be replaced by spaceways. And we're going to be traveling around the globe um, autonomously in vehicles. Right turn, right turn. Not any one of us is ever fully prepared for the job that we take on. If we were, it was too easy and we shouldn't have taken it. Rather, we need to always be stretching ourselves to take more risks, to making certain that uh, we can do it. Sometimes the stereotype is, um, you know, you got a job for a different reason than the real one, which is that you were qualified. Uh, and the fact that so many women in this community, right, not only got the jobs, um, but they, I mean, they did an exceptional job in that leadership role. 
um, I think it's really encouraging.